And now being six o'clock on June 11th, I will call the Board of Selectmen meeting to order. This meeting is being recorded for Cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. So the first item on our agenda is an appointment, but uh, we told them 615 for the uh, Jason Frazier is coming in and Michael Antoine. Okay. So maybe we want to just go down and do updates while we're... Uh, or town and men updates? Uh, why don't I start with fire oh. committee because the town clerk's coming in. Okay. Okay. So what's going on with our fires committees? Um, there is a meeting tomorrow that Jason and Barbara Gomez, the town accountant, and myself will be there in Halifax at um, 2.30. And I believe Kim Roy is uh, attending that too. I'm sorry, who is that too? Kim Roy, uh, the select woman for uh, Halifax. We had, uh, I had given them through Steve Heath. Steve Heath is on our uh, mm -hmm. biotechnical committee and I had given asked him to give to Jason uh, the numbers we came up with that I think I shared with you about a week ago. And I got a call from Jason saying basically he thought that there were some things left out that he wanted to talk about. So that's great. And they'll get that down so we know exactly where we are in terms of if we stay the way we are. Okay. Then we can compare it. Uh, there is a fire technical committee where I'm also going to send out a, a note to ask any of the oversight people who would like to attend Wednesday where we'll update the numbers uh, based on Jason uh, meeting, my meeting with Jason and Kim and Barbara. All right, so that's a technical committee. Yes, technical committee meeting and then we'll invite as participants if they want to be. Okay, what time is that, John? Seven o'clock. Okay. And you're coming to that, Mark, I believe, right? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come too. Great, that's Great. good, okay. And who was it, Jason? Um, Baveros, the fire chief okay. of uh, mm -hmm. Halifax. So that takes us up to Wednesday. Um, we will have a meeting the following Wednesday of both committees, the fire overview and the fire technical. Is that, um, that's not the meeting on the 18th though? No. Okay. No, the meeting on the 18th will be the Board of Selectmen where uh, Chief Benjamino will come in and give us an update on the progress made next door and uh, also some cost figures on uh, what it might take to uh, rehabilitate the okay. existing site so and get rid of the trailer. So that's on the 20th, John? Yes. And what time is that? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, okay. Yep. So we want to post that one too, so right. I think so we can come. Yeah. 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 Would you do that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Board of Selectmen will attend the 720 yes. fire committee. Yep. Okay. Now at that point, I think um, we will have some options to show them in terms of uh, how we might approach it. I think we've got four or five options. That include uh, standalone, shared service, uh, hybrids, okay. and then we can talk that through. I think uh, the technical committee's been very good in supplying expertise that's helped, so it's, it'll be great if you're there. Terrific. Okay. Then we still have the joint selectmen's meeting. Um, talking to Liz today, it sounded like that's still a little bit in flux, but they might move it into somewhere around the 25th, 24th, I'm not sure. Of that last week yeah. in June. Yeah. So we're not doing it on the 27th. Is that not, correct? It's not clear yet. It's okay. All right. So it's still up in the air. Yeah. And it's Halifax that's okay. having. Got commitments. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Am I still in having your two committees come in here on the 18th? So that's what you had. Planned. Yes. We're gonna, but we're going to invite them as yeah, just right. to come here, the fire chief. We're not so, having a meeting per se. No. So 618, we are having them come here, though. They'll be invited. Okay. So I hope we can schedule that that joint meeting fairly quickly. I'm I'm leaving, keeping those all open because that's a super yeah. important. Yeah, yeah. I've asked. Uh, I, I know they're the ones that are holding or slow on. I think Liz and Charlie are working together to try to resolve it. So. Mm -hmm. 
let them do that. And, Perfect. Yeah. Then after that, I think what we do is we get everybody, our committees, ourselves in a room and just talk through what we've heard and the options and see if we can start to come to some sort of conclusion about where we want to go. Now, at what point do we bring in uh, a consultant or somebody to help us? Is it after that? Because we've got this grant money, and I think that's what we were going to use it well, for. One of the things we might want to do is, um, what do you think about, uh, you remember Ernie, the fella? Ernie Horn? Yeah. yeah. Would that be an yeah. opportunity to come in and critique what we're talking about? Maybe even have him attend that meeting. Okay. All right. See what his availability is? Yeah. Yep. Um, we may have to talk with Liz, and we may have to figure out how much we're going to budget for this so that we don't have to put out an RFP and go through all of that. Yep. But it would be good to bring them in to get yeah. these things squared away. And the grant money's there for that yeah. purpose. And we all feel he was pretty good about mm -hmm. Picking through and figuring out which, what were the things that were going to come back and bite us. So, yeah, it's yeah, pretty no well, nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> that sort of no nonsense cut through to yeah. the core issues. I think okay. it'd be really good. So at I'll it. reach out to Ernie just to give him a heads up. Perfect. And, yeah. So I think that's where we are right now. Any questions? Good. No? Okay. Yeah, sounds looking, real good. Okay. Forward to. Moving it along. Mm -hmm. How about the Atwood assessment adjustment? Um, all right. So um, um, the assessment, I, I checked with Wendy on this. We talked about this a little last week. And it turns out, based on a number of things, their assessment for fiscal year 2018 went up quite a bit, um, in part because of the discovery of additional acres also because of the successful per, um, per test and also because of the appraisal it's done. So essentially she has an adjusted bill to send out for an additional $3,700, has offered us the opportunity, if we want, of waiving that um, if there were a sale or just waiving that in general because of the ongoing negotiations. Um, and. Um, I, I think just because we are at relatively delicate stage in all of this, I think it might well make sense for us to give consideration um, to waiving that adjustment. Um, the um, uh, time pressure on this is that she needs to let the Atwood Trust know within the next week or so on this. I just would like to know pros and cons. Yeah. I. I I'm not sure why we would want to waive it. Yeah. If we're going to try to purchase the property, I think that's why we would want to waive it. If we were to. If we were to try. Yeah. I mean, in one sense, given the size of the issue, it's not a big, huge thing. But for one, I'd want them to understand that we, in fact, are doing that. And it's out of the goodness of our heart, um, you know. And I discussed that with her, that, and she we um, sort of agreed that what could be done is they um, could be notified that of this adjustment and what was owed and then including that a letter saying that the Board of Selectmen um, in interest of goodwill with ongoing negotiations would waive it for this year but not not in succeeding years. Yeah, right. Okay. So I, I just I, I, um, I mean I think not to ruffle feathers and to just keep the process as cordial as possible and okay. the negotiation. I, um, that would be my proposal, that we waive it for this year. Now, that would come from Wendy or from us? Or uh, from Wendy. From Wendy, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do we need a vote to? I yeah, think, think we, we need do. a vote. We need a vote to, to waive it. Mm. For this one year, in consideration that the property is being taken out of 61A and currently for sale, right? Yep. Not okay. just because this is something that we're yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion that um, 
because it, the property is coming out of 61A and is up for sale and there was um, a, uh, with all of the uh, work that's being done there, it's determined that the, uh, the property is actually larger and um, they've got a, uh, a supplemental tax bill so that we waive this for $3,755.72 and that this is just for this year only. I'll second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Excellent. Thank for you. Fiscal year 18. Yes, for fiscal year 18. Right. I, there may actually be even more acreage that is still being worked through on this. Okay. Um, uh, just so it's not easy. Okay. No, it's a process, definitely. I will let so welcome. May, can I just go sure. and ask a question before we get sure. off that? My name is Sarah Preston. I am part of the trust for the Atwood family. Okay. Um, a question on that, and I think that's very nice that you're going to do that for 2018. Does that 3,700, is that reflective of any, are my parents being charged any past taxes? No. No. It's okay. simply, I, I, I don't think they can do that. It's simply for this fiscal year. Uh, okay, and I agree on that, and thank you. Um, and so are you in agreement that it is 113 acres then? Um, I, I think that is probably, that is what is listed on the purchase and sale. Right. Um, I think there's actually more, there may be somewhat more acreage. I got an email late last week that there may be still more issues on that. Because I, as a um, family member, we and all of us are not aware of any more, but, and we've done our due diligence, I think, with the um, surveyors uh, and the title gentlemen, that it is 113 acres, but if there's something else out there, we're more than happy to discuss anything. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We didn't yeah. say anything that we shouldn't have said if you were right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. It's all so, a work in progress. Um, Very yeah. good. It is a work in progress, okay. and I and it's challenging, and I, I and, and complicated. And however this process goes, if it can go um, cordially and as warmly as possible, I we really want to do that. You know. I Thanks. Good. <laughs> Any other questions before we? No, Change something. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> So, Jason, Mike, you will come on. So, uh, I come before you tonight as a duly elected member of the Silver Lake Regional School Committee of Plimpton um, due to um, Maureen Springer's resignation from the board. Um, there's going to be no way that we can fill that void left by Maureen. Um, the history that she brought to that committee and the passion that she fought for the children of Silver Lake and Plimpton in particular over all the years. Long time. It was a great loss. I was lucky enough, though, um, to meet Mike about four years ago. He's with me on the Dennett Elementary right. School mm -hmm. Committee here in Plimpton and just won his reelection for his second term. Um, during his time on the Dennett Committee, He's really stepped up into some leadership roles. He's done the negotiations for us. He's also the chair of Union 31, which you can talk about a little bit more. Um, but I bring him before you tonight as my recommendation for the appointment for the year um, to the Silver Lake Regional School Committee. Um, again, with Silver Lake being a three-town school committee, if there is no representative from Plimpton, they can't hold their meetings. We hold up business for them. And we only hold two seats as the smallest town on the right. mm -hmm. um, Having Mike at my side, being able to share that responsibility and the duty will allow us to continue the business of the region, but also to more adequately represent our town on that committee. Great. It's awfully good of you, Mike. It is. Yeah, I served with Mike on uh, the negotiations committee, and yeah. thank you. I mean, thank, I yes. thank Jason for, for having the confidence yeah. and recommending me for it. Uh, uh, like he said, I, I, I chair the Unit 31. I also mm -hmm. chair the, the admin view for right now until we realign. Um, start the negotiations. Um, hiring committee for mm -hmm. such and uh, I think one of Mike's great strengths here is a lot of people don't understand what Union 31 is. 
but when we have the three towns each having their own elementary school, we do have some shared cost um, to allay all of us having to purchase the same materials, same goods, and same administration. So Mike has actually worked already on that kind of regional basis mm -hmm. as, as the chair of Union 31, so he has that insight already. Um, knows a lot of the board of select people from other towns and the finance committee members of other towns as well. So he already brings some of that uh, know-how to the table which is a great asset. Absolutely. I think we're delighted that you're willing to step forth, uh, especially with your background at the elementary school. This is mm -hmm. terrific. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, chosen to be. Um, I'm ready to step up. And, I think uh, you're a great choice. Um, I always have the best interest for the, uh, mm -hmm. for the children of uh, Punta Neva, so. Um. Okay. All right. Oh boy, you got Christine and <laughs> Jason um, uh, speaking for you. You must be special. <laughs> yes, he's really good. So I'll make it a motion that we appoint Mike Antoine to the uh, Silver Lake Regional Committee position. Now this is... Well, it's till the annual town election, right? Yeah, because you'll have okay, to run so for re-election next May. Right, yes, May. So, May. so this term will be June 11th, 2018, to May 18th, 2019. Okay. All and right. A second. I'll second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 And I need to be recorded as a vote of yay as well on this, I believe. Okay. Great. Statute. All right. Okay. So noted. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really impressed yeah. that. Your two daughters there. Well, they've been at interviews today, and they, 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 they were home when they came to this building. So thank you for having me, John. And congratulations, Mr. Chair. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I believe thank we need to get sworn you. in. By Do you want to sign this? Yes. And we'll, um, you can go see Tara, get sworn in. And when's your, um, your first meeting? Thursday. Thursday. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mike. Birthday. Really appreciate it. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. Let me say thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Rick. All right, Excuse so you want to just sign that just and then give this second. to Mike? Yeah. So we can go get sworn in. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, girls. <laughs> Dinner at elementary. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so nice. I know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so cute. I know. All right, so we've got Michael. Man, we're making quick work of this. Yes, yeah, good. Now, we need uh, Tara. Yes. Or we've got 620 Planning Board. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if they come in at 620. They should be. Okay. Let's see, anything else going on? Uh, is, what time's Tara coming in? Do you know? She was, ever, she was ready. So Tell her whenever we're ready. Oh, okay. What time? Hmm. I don't know if should we do that next? Just because she would do this at the same time since she's here. Yeah, but I want to get her in here because we don't have anything else to talk okay. about. Okay, all right. I don't know if you want to continue down the Oh, here's planning board. Planning board. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Good. Because <laughs> she's going to go through her. Can you open it? Hey. Welcome. Hey. Only one candidate has expressed an interest in becoming a member of the planning board. Okay. The and that's Mr. Carling. We voted to welcome him back on the board and would like your blessings to do so. You know, we just briefly chatted, and the only thing we have a hiccup is that we're not sure legally he can be on multiple boards. As the zoning enforcement officer? We checked on that last, the last time. But, yeah, because he was exempt. Was that what it was? Was he was exempt and he was able to serve on multiple boards? Because of that? Yeah. How long ago was that? Last year. Was it last year? Yeah. We should be able year. to check the notes from last year. And um, yeah, if there's not a conflict. We, we don't have a problem with it. We just want to make sure that whatever we do doesn't come back and, you know, 
right. pretty soon a tailspin. So okay. Hmm? It hasn't so far. Right. I mean, we did check on it last year and it's yeah. still Okay. Council was notified last year. Pardon you? Pardon town me? You had to do it with town council and they had to come back. You checked on it last year. Did um, did we have to get um, anything from them? Any type of waiver? I don't know who Why don't we do the appointment subject to, we'll just check, but to um, point Bob Colling to the planning committee subject to just a check with the legal. Okay. That, that should take a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. then we would just know by, we'll know probably tomorrow after Liz right. gets back. Right. Should be able to check the, the minutes from the last meeting when we did this and, and the follow up that was done with council. You look confused. No, I, I'm, I'm just. I don't remember, honestly, what. Um, Why would you be on the board all this time that weren't, that hadn't been approved? I don't know, but it came up as a, as an issue. We thought we'd better just check. That's all we're doing. So, so we'll he's been it on now. it for the whole year. Yeah. Uh, the whole last year, year. Yeah. all of last year. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, Remember, we checked with town council. Yeah, we had to be checked out. All right, then let's just All go right. forward. Yeah, okay. We can still check. But sure. Point. Okay. I'll do a follow up on it anyway. Yeah. So I'll make a motion it's that. Uh, so it's just one year until the next election, is that it? It's only for one year. Yeah. Okay. May 18th to the okay. election date. So All I'll right. make a motion that Bob Colling be appointed to the planning board for the term June 11th, 2018 to May 18th, 2019. Okay. Second. Uh, and are we doing this just pending confirmation with town council? No, we'll just do it, but we'll go back to town council anyway. How about if we just add pending um, approval by council, just for All right, own. pending approval by council. Okay, perfect. All okay. right, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I didn't realize he was on it that long, a whole year. I thought he just was on it for a short period of time up until the election. I was thinking that too. Sure so okay. are you guys in yeah. hold again, or is this okay. still a one-time opening? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. How, yeah. How many? Uh, how many guys? How many people? Is it five or seven? No, we, 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 we just luckily yeah. have four. But otherwise, no. I mean, how many? If, if you're fully staffed, we're having five. 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 Yeah. Yes. And there's no What's movement the on now? resolving that. The other guy doesn't want to leave. There is movement. It's been a year and a half. I know. He's not allowed. So, yeah. you know, hopefully this is well, okay. Obviously, Bob's a knowledgeable guy. Well, let's sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it makes it okay. easier this way. Okay. We understand the project as well. Right. But, but you've got a quorum, so you could yep. be all set. Yes. Perfect. With Mr. Callan. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys. Who's that? So I'll send the appointment slip back down. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now we could yeah, use Tara. Okay. Great. Now we could use Tara. Um, well, let me think of it. Um, Tara sent me a street list in Excel. Would you all like that? Mm, yes, I okay. think she gave okay. it to all it's of us. Yeah, on the disc. yeah just... I think we got it too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. I found it um, helpful, you know, because you can put by occupation and see who we want to go fucking. <laughs> you volunteers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In fact, I'm interested in... For some in reason, it has you listed as 59 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my son. <laughs> uh, so is she coming? Yeah, she's with somebody. Okay. Because her office is open. Well, do you want to start you correspondence? Well, yeah, let's yeah, start so correspondence. All right. So these are the town administrator updates. Um, which I've been asked to uh, um, uh, uh, read. So the highway superintendent position interviews are tomorrow, um, June 12th. Names of the finalists will be forwarded, forwarded to the Board of Selectmen for final interviews to be held 625, which is two weeks from today. Um, Griffin Webb, the animal control officer, met with Barbara and town administrator earlier today. He is all set as far as being set up for payroll, purchasing some new and necessary equipment. Um, uh, uh, Liz sent Lisa Sullivan 
of the Old Colony Planning okay. Council, the first round of comments um, that John Trainer and she had regarding the draft comprehensive permit regulations. Um, she will be back in touch with an updated draft in the near future. Um, town admin sent an email to Laura Muncie, um, also of the Old Colony Planning Council for a status update on our town center master plan and Liz will let the board know what she finds out on that. Um, we should be hearing if we were successful um, with the Green Community Grant application sometime in July. And finally, we're waiting to hear back from Michael Rodriguez uh, concerning a meeting to be scheduled so that John and Liz can speak with him about an IT master plan for the next fiscal year. Okay. Um, right. So maybe actually I can give that, pass that down to uh, you want to, uh, that? to Bree. Yep. Um, do you want me to go right into correspondence? Yes, yeah, please. No okay. Um, so not too much here. Uh, first, um, this is from Kathleen DeVasto Piermonti. Um, she writes to it may concern um, with a lot of thought and consideration I've come to the conclusion that I have to resign from doing food safety inspections for the Board of Health. I have finished all inspections for fiscal year 2018. Thanks for the opportunity. It was a pleasure working with everyone. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So I, I presumably it's in the Board of Health hands of where to go next. Shall I continue or shall we uh, go to Tara? Uh, probably we should go to Tara. Okay. Well, now I just swore two people in, so now two of my reports are inaccurate. <laughs> Here we go. I'll use them as examples. <laughs> okay. That's for you. These are in order, so I'm going to go through okay, them. Okay, great. So don't take them out of order. Okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't read ahead, huh? No. <laughs> Thanks, Tara. Okay. So these are um, some reports that are starting the process of what will be sent in to the boards and commissions yep. for reappointments and or appointments of new people for terms that are up. Um, so I'll just go through what I have here. So the first report shows which terms are ending um, the end of this month. And they, so the whole report says begin term, it's from the year to June 30th. So this was just an, uh, an example to show you um, the report that we'll be able to generate um, for all the ones that are expiring. So there's approximately 72 um, oh. expiring. Um, and that's because some of them are annual appointments. For example, the building department, um, the zoning enforcement officer, the building inspector, the plumbing inspector. Um, some of the special police officers are all annual appointments. Um, some of them were resignations, um, and so they need to fill the positions. Um, so that's the first report. Um, okay. Next, I wanted to show you an example of what I will be able to generate and additional information that will be included. So I use the Board of Health as an example, so you can see some of the reports that I'm working on and um, formulas that calculate um, how many positions are available in a board, for example, if there's a vacancy. Um, so the first page shows a summary of some of the pertinent information for each board and committee. So for example, the chairperson, the name of the board, the administrative staff. Um, this is some information that I'm gathering for all boards and committees. Some of them are regulated by state law. For example, um, uh, which board is it? I think this is an example. Um, ugh, which board is it? There's a board, one state board that you can have either, oh, it's the assessors. Uh, one, three, five, or seven by state general law, ours happens to be three. Mm -hmm. um, but I've, I'm putting some of the details about those um, reasons why we have um, that amount of people. So this one shows three elected members. Um, I didn't use a good example. I had one that had, um, it, it says what the mass general law is and um, how many can be in the board. So I cited the Mass General Law 
Um, so so we can use there'll it be reference. notes on here. Yeah, there. notes like this. So yeah. the bottom one says three elected, three yeah. appointed. Okay. It'll actually say Mass General Law, whatever the law is, Great. and then the section, and then how <coughs> many members there will be. And then the term as well. We three have associate members. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Three appointed assistant health agents? I didn't know that. We I didn't know that either. I thought it was yeah, just one. Yeah, we're down to one just resigned. So we actually only have one. We did have three at one point. Okay. Uh, now we're down to, I think, one. Mm -hmm. um, the next page, this is just to show you an example. If we do this properly, this report generates itself because of my entries. So mm -hmm. you'll see... Board of Health, you can see the year of what positions, how many positions will expire um, by year. Mm, okay. So I have terms in there for some of the elected people through 2021. Um, so see, for example, they're supposed to alternate. So you should be able to see if it's running properly, you would be able to see um, that you should have one every year. Um, <clears throat> the next uh, the next page also is an example. Uh, so see on the last column it says vacant positions. Wait a minute. Okay. So we're on to the next sheet. Uh, this one. The, bit, the last page of the second handout. We don't have that. That's oh, just a different. Uh, so the last position, the last one says vacant positions. Yeah. It should be able to do, see on planning board, it says five members we're right. supposed to have. Uh, current members is four, mm -hmm. so the next one would be one right. vacant yep. position. So we'll be able to just print a report. I just That's can't great. figure out the formula yet. It's yep. blowing my mind, so working on it. But I just wanted to show you what the capabilities of the database are. Perfect. Um, and similar, um, the next one, it's a start. I have the members that are in there. Um, these are all appointed um, positions. They're all appointed boards and how many positions, current members, and I'll be putting in how many members we're supposed to have, and it will do the calculation for us. So, um, well, Just a question on yeah. the bottom. It says Selectman 2. Why would it say 2 for current members? Um, I don't think I updated. Okay. Okay, so it's just yeah. <laughs> for, yeah. um, so this actually no, I can tell you I appointed I have um, Liz and so you guys are actually elected, so oh, you're that's not right. on this that's report. Right. Okay. But Liz Liz is on here and Bridget right. is entered in there. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So so those are just examples of what I'm working on. So we'll be able to find out how many people we can actually appoint. Yes. Yeah. The just, whole yeah that's great yeah once once i get everything in there yeah uh, so i'm sort of backpedaling right now and just getting in there the people that so we can keep moving forward but then going back to my old appointment slips and the other thing is the appointment slips that you all signed yes those are going to be scanned and attached to each record of the person so we don't even need to have the hard copies and they would be backed up on our server uh, and we'll be able to just click the attachment and Great. it'll show up. So Bridget, Liz, Trisha, and I will have access to all of this information Great. at all times. It's already saved on a shared drive. Um, they can't see it yet. Yep. Uh, they have to see the S drive uh, yep. and they can't see it yet. Um, I'm a little concerned about compatibility because my computer is new. Uh, Bridget's is new, Liz's is new, but Trisha's is not new. So, why <laughs> so don't we, we've got her, one, why don't we do so that? So her, her access isn't compatible with this right now, so the command buttons are not working on her computer. So why don't we trade? Well, it's not the whole computer, it's just the access up, upgrade, the mm. software. Oh, the software access. Just the software oh, okay. access, so we might have to buy um, an, upgrade. an upgraded access. Yeah, we should do it. I mean, it's yeah. going to be, what, $100? I don't, I don't know. I don't know yeah. how much they cost. <laughs> so the next <coughs> report is a bigger report. It's everybody that I have in there, uh, appointed and elected. Um, 
I'll be changing the title because it's actually departments as well, uh, department members, not just boards and committees. But it's a start, and it, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty fabulous. I'm this still, is nice. Still fabulous. putting in um, telephone numbers, so Bridgette and I will work on that because she has a lot more telephone numbers. But I had a lot of emails because of the distribution list and. The new people, when they came to sign in, we filled in a committee or board application and have them fill in all of their information. So, is there a way we can help you somehow? No. Well, it's done. It's pretty done. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> like all the phone numbers that have to be put in. Um, in? I think it's just as easy. I'll, I'll, I'm not sure yet about. All right. I'm gonna take what Bridget has. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's pretty. What close. a great database. Um, so the next report is an example of a roster of one board. So this is a uh, conservation commission as an example. Yep. So this is going to be the report. So when we go into our database, we select Con conservation commission. There's a command button that says active roster and we click that button and this is the report that it generates and then we also have a hyperlink that would go to the board okay um, so it would say email to the board we're going to be able to email the conservation commission um, i'd like to separate out the chair people out of our yes. outlook yes. Um, so that's going to take a little time but so um, what michael's doing to get email should be what's going to be in here is that the okay yeah he's probably going to use my distribution list right. to import because right. it's the most up-to-date yeah. one yeah uh i don't know exactly and you should probably be doing. the control person and then anything he does like that okay I would yeah think. i seem to i yeah because Bridget has through the years had multiple revisions of files from past right. like yes. her predecessors yeah. and sometimes they're not pulled over properly right. um so mine is accurate and Trisha has the same one yeah I was able to when Liz started export mine onto Liz's computer okay so but is it read it, only though uh, no no it's not it's not in a shared drive though so okay. we're we're just copying my file and putting them on people's files which is a nightmare yeah. <laughs> it, it would be so nice for um, me to be able to update something or project to update something and then we just open it and it's, it's the right one right now so, we're like I'm sending an email to all yeah. three and saying so-and-so is off the board now put this person on take this yeah, one off. doesn't make sense it's so much so work. could Michael help you um, I don't know I thought that he was doing some sort of share um, all right, so that'll go on our list to talk to Michael I mm -hmm. thought he was working on I doing, thought he was working on it too. Yeah. But I don't know if he's made any progress. Yeah, I don't know. We're still we're still um, manually, you know, I'll make a change, then I'll send an email to the three of them uh, and say, take yeah. this person out, yeah. put this person in. It's <laughs> it's really a lot of work. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I got a totally different list. Yeah, when okay. when one of the lists was imported I can understand how it happens because there were multiple, like there was a Kristen Levangie file, there was a Lisa Krantz file, uh, there was my file that Brigitte had before something crashed one time and then it was restored and it was restored with the wrong file because they all say outlook.com. CSV, I think. Okay. So, yeah. And then and when the email got changed over to the new email, it picked up an old list oh yeah. boy. and put it over. So it's been frustrating to say the least. Um, this is beautiful. This is unbelievable. Well, that, and the, if she can access the this database as well, she'll be able to click the hyperlink that will put it into her Outlook so there won't be any question. Um, so I still, there's some more features that I'm not familiar with that I can talk to the support people. And um, I've already been manipulating the reports to reflect what we're used to doing here. Um, so, and it's, I've, I've been doing fine with that. So the report that shows Conservation Commission is an example of yep. what we would be able to send to that specific board. And, and I think it's helpful instead of just sending the person who's expiring 
who, whose date is expiring, sending the whole thing so yeah, that they I, can look right. and see the staggering terms. So we'll send the roster to each board and say, this is your roster. You know, uh, these are the two that are expiring. Um, and then if they are going to reappoint to send a, a recommendation letter to project and then um, there's a field on this that says reappoint. It's just checkbox. So we'll start gathering who's going to be reappointed by checkbox, and then I'll be able to run a report, and it merges into Word and does the documents without manually doing it. We're in the 21st century. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm recognizing some of this is in the future, but it, what you, the process you just described is not for this year. Yeah. Or it, it is. is. Oh, yeah. Because we're at the 11th, we have to make these appointments in 19 days. Yep, I'm sending these reports tomorrow by email to okay, the board. Okay, great. So theoretically, all those boards, commissions, and committees have to meet. Well, we, it would be good to know when when you would like to sign the reappointment slips. What what date you're gonna? Do it'd be that. the 25th. That's the last day we so meet. So we can yeah. say in the letter that we email to them. Uh, please have your recommendation letter by the 25th. Um, That's the which is, last, very last. Um, yeah, which, we'll say we, earlier. Which is what we need. The, yep. the problem is it's, uh, it gives boards committees two weeks. I mean, they're all going to have to right. hopefully call a meeting within the next two weeks to do that. Um, okay. well, hopefully if, next if, year we'll be... If they go beyond the July 1st date, they just would know that the person who is reappointed just wouldn't be able to participate in a vote at a meeting yeah. so um no and i i this is beautiful yeah. work and I, we're making really great progress on being more organized i think next year if we start the process yeah. probably yeah. immediately after town right. meeting yeah. um, and then we won't hit the deadline we always yeah well none course. of this was in here yeah. in the database. No, and I, 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 <laughs> so, I, and this last week was, it was important. Uh, I had a schedule. I had to certify the elected, the election results. Yeah. But I also had to get our bylaws in to the attorney general. Right, which was very important. So that was timing-wise important. Yeah. Um, no, and I totally appreciate yeah, so what you're up it against. Will be, um. uh, it'll, it will be easier to write out. We'll just do it at the same time we, have, we swear in the elected people right after perfect. May. Perfect. So we'll aim for like two weeks earlier. Perfect. That would be three perfect. Weeks early, like before June. Yep, right. So that they know the month yep. of June. Um, so and, that, that, and then and then actually boards commissions will know that part of their process is each year in early June, they, meet in June. they need to do this. Yep. So yeah. it'll be sort of like best practices that yep. we can implement with this. Very nice. Uh, and do it maybe as part of a manual to the boards and commissions that are have appointed boards. So it's getting there. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so the next two is uh, their Silver Lake and Planning Board. So there were two different examples of what happened. One was a failure to elect for the Planning Board. Um, so there's a position available. Um, so the people are listed on there, but one position says failure to elect. And I wrote the note of the appointment would go to the next election. And the term left on this particular failure to elect is three years. So we only can appoint somebody to the next election and then they'll pull paper. The next person who wants to be on the committee will pull papers okay. for three years. If they want to run it. Right. Yeah. If they don't want to, somebody else will and it'll be a three year term. Yeah. It won't yeah. be five years. Yeah. And that keeps it staggering Great. and we're just following the pattern okay. of that term. So that's an example of the planning board, but I just for in um, an appointed yes. person right now. Right. Uh, Silver Lake, same thing. Yep. This was a resignation. Yep. The only reason why that happened was uh, because um, Maureen, I had already certified the election results and she pulled nomination papers and um, was elected and you have to send in the certification within five days of the election. So. Um, she modified her non-acceptance letter of the position to, to say resign. resignation yeah. so yeah. that we can we could do the appointment <coughs> for the next year um, 
I get. I think that's it. So if I took the big sheet yeah. and counted up all the uh, appointed and elected, yep. I have a really good count of volunteers. Uh, yeah, I can probably have the computer do the count for you. I would love to know. So, are there people who are in here though that well, get a salary? Yes, and yeah. they say contract on it. See, it says contracted, like, like okay. the accountant. So I'd have to, we'd have yeah. to pull those people so out. That's what I was talking about earlier to you. I do have a field okay. that says Great. hourly, salaried, employee, volunteer. Um, there's certain titles to them, or mm -hmm. not titles, um, I guess, uh, not titles, but um, no, they're, it's just a drop down. It's category. Categories, okay. Like a category. Yeah. And then I can run a report for all volunteers or all salaried. So I would like to include getting the list from Barbara Gomez of the contracts, not what they get paid, but sure. just that they have a contract. When they expire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll include it in here right. and then we can run a report for we'll contracts. Let's to update it. Yep. It's not very long, so. Right, yep. I have an older one, but, yep. um, but it's going to be very a uh, great tool to use for many different departments. Right. This is a lot of work, but really great. I think I Thank may you. have that contract list in my contracts. Okay. Yeah, you may have that. I updated. have one, but I'm not sure it's updated. So Tara, this is all active committees. So I see a couple in there we need to yeah. dissolve. DOI. DOR. I mean, yeah. And yeah. actually yeah, so the housing and production I, it's plan just needs because to be I never got the information too. filtered to me. Okay. Yeah. So whatever any revisions would be great. Okay. Um, uh, it's just I can't I if I'm not in the meeting or know right. that it dissolved like yeah. even there was possibly a um, the housing yeah that needs to be dissolved because yeah. once the plan was accepted yeah they're done yeah so, so I I would need to know that in order to remove it so I should let Tara know yeah, yeah anytime we dissolve a committee I'd yeah, let Tara sure. know yeah. why don't we go through and just yeah. You know, we'll note them and then we'll Right. See. We can take some yeah. votes and, yeah. and finalize we'll them. it just to make sure. So you'll plan on being with us the 25th when we vote on these because questions will come up, I think. Yeah? Um, sure. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, Is it your birthday good. or something? No. No. <laughs> just thinking of my daughter's schedule. She has a college orientation. So we have... We have three parents who can go though. So, <laughs> <laughs> would you like these updated to you by a certain date, October twenty fifth, or are you, are you, or do you want us updating you? Or this is really neat stuff. Committees That's on the same day, kind of so that when you go to write it's a such a short list. Well, How would you I'll like it? draft yeah. the letter. That doesn't make we'll sense. We'll think about the timing no, tomorrow on the letter. I want to understand that. Yeah. 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 The committees there's with only their list, and we'll come up with a date. With the ones like with the committees that are dissolved, do oh, you want yeah. that by a certain date? Well, this is we'll like no, 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 yeah. one too. no. This is okay. No, okay. just whenever. Everybody's appointed. Yeah. I thought, but so maybe not. We, can we didn't it out. remember the last. Didn't we? We signed only the officer one. We didn't sign the other four people. We just made those appointments, but we didn't sign anything? I think we didn't okay. sign an appointment sheet for the four um, fire. We don't have to. Okay. Right. Have right. An appointment yeah, yeah, so I, I actually know that I have to add one of the captains in here. Um, I, I just couldn't find the paperwork for yeah, this no worries. today's yeah. report. Yeah. Um, when I went to a town clerk conference, I asked about every employee and if they had to be sworn in. So they do have to, all employees should be doing the mandatory paperwork, which is the sexual harassment policy, conflict of interest laws, and the conflict of interest quiz. The open meeting laws would be for an appointed person right. because of their meetings. Um, I wish I remembered how she worded it, but um, somebody who doesn't have a supervisor to report to who can make a decision, for example, the captain's um, captains in the fire department would be appointed and sworn in and also have to abide by the open meeting law rules so they would have to do that quiz as well but like firemen who are just paramedics or EMTs um, they're employees but they have to report to a supervisor they don't have to get sworn in okay 
So she said, you know, I said, what about special police officer? And she said, officer. She said, that's your first clue because it's, it's somebody who is an officer for the town. Okay. So um, even I'd like to gather like the highway department personnel um, uh, and also I have information from the Silver Lake School District. Um, they sent, the district sends me some of their mandatory paperwork that they have to do through the school, but it's also ours as well. Mm -hmm. But gathering all the highway department and other employees, uh, they, they would have to do three of the four pieces of paper that okay. we have, but not have to get appointed. All right. So another policy for best practices, like kind of a list of, of who, and if you think about it uh, as if somebody can make a decision without a supervisor, then they would need to get appointed. Okay. So does that make sense? It does make sense. It does, yeah. <coughs> and we need to definitely make sure that everybody's done yeah. their sexual harassment training and all of that. I so. actually do have the two fire captains because Bridget and I talked about it last week and I pulled the paperwork out to give her the dates. Um, but will will those be captured on this somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Um, Cheryl is already on there because yep. um, she was in the database, but um, there the other captain is already. Also, I have all the paperwork. It's just not on that okay. list right now. But I mean, will there be a capture of that says employee? No, that these things were done. The things you just listed. oh yeah, there's another report that I didn't show you. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. So it's um I've been adding in um, all of the mandatory paperwork dates, yep. and I also have an attachment for the receipt of the conflict of interest quiz that people take. Um, in my database, it'll be another scan that we'll be able to click on, and it okay. has a the date and that it's good for two years, but I have a report that says missing information and it highlights uh, what column isn't completed for them. So that's next. Perfect, <laughs> okay. that's great. Uh, so yeah. we, I have a ton of it already. I'm trying to just figure out how to do it in a like production line way to enter it for mm -hmm. data entry. So Trisha and I will enter um, things, but I'm just trying to figure out how to do it with scans without having to name them since I can right. attach it right to a record. We used to scan them by name and department, and so I do have files, mm -hmm. older files, but that's a ton of work, having to rename them. So we might just scan it, open it, look to see who it is, attach it to the record, right? and it's attached. That makes more sense. So mm -hmm. we're still working through the process. I assume, um, you had done a write-up on um, the databases for the uh, Department of Revenue. Yep. So I'm assuming at the end of June they're going to want us to come back because I think that's what it was through, June 30th. They never asked me when you said. Yeah, I so know. So contact. They you. came to me. I guess I was the I, contact. That's when I had that. Oh, that was for the grant. Right? Yeah. 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 They wanted a status update. So that's the same. I can. Tara gave me the. Yeah. Perfect. Can, then they sort of. Now I can. I'll update it and say that great. we are. We're using complete. This. Yeah. This yeah. is. We are definitely beautiful. using it. The only it's, thing we're not doing yet is I haven't shared it with the other other computers on the network. Oh yeah, but that's yeah. That's just internal. Yeah. This is yeah. It's wonderful. It's but getting better and better. Everything that I work on, um, you know, it's not exactly what I would like. So I'm just manipulating some of the fields and the formulas because of the way we do it here in Plimpton. They're all very similar, but uh, like some of these reports are already designed, and I'm just <coughs> changing a few things. So, mm -hmm. but I don't always. It's program. It's, it's actually programming of fields. So I have to figure out the formula, and if I don't, I just I call the our support person. <laughs> so, I mean, it's programming from what I used to do 15 years ago. So, it's all in access, you said. Yeah, it's yeah. but it's very similar. It's formulas that yeah. you would do in any programming. Right. Right. Um, so. Thank you. Wow, great, Tara. It is. It is. Better. It's exciting.
I counted what I'm interested in. I, I did a count one so time just by going so through the you boards. you want the count of... Yeah, I want to see how accurate I was. I counted 134. 134 what? Positions. Okay. Positions. Boards okay. elected in... Okay. That were not paid. Okay. And I said anybody who makes less than $500 is considered not paid. Okay. Okay, so like us, a dollar, and mm -hmm. Board of Health, a dollar. So I'm just, and then I was trying to figure out, of those, if that, let's say that was the correct number, how many people are filling those? Because people are on multiple, multiple. boards. You'd be yeah. interested to see if it's 60 well, people can, filling 134. Well, the other thing that I'm trying to do, I have a report where I have a whole section on the database that's just member information, and you click and you just look up the person's last name and all of their boards and committees are on there. Oh, that's neat. So I'm trying to just figure out how to, I have one whole huge report that has everybody alphabetically, so I'm trying to put in a parameter where you just type in the last <coughs> name and first name, and it prints a summary um, that's next so I do have one big report um, uh, on the member roster I think under status is where the category is for elected appointed um, salary hourly it's an overlap thing some of them are appointed like right. me treasurer collector we're appointed but we're also salary yeah. so I'm trying to figure out how to separate the field so we can capture both well, could you create a new category? Appointed salary? Yeah, yep, yep, and I can edit lists that yeah. are already in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. Yeah, right now I know that the report is based on elected or appointed. So, like, even the police department, I didn't want to include them. Oh, I don't remember what. I, I didn't want it. Oh, I know, for the town report, because I used this pretty much for the town report as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't want the police in the town report, so I had to. I put in like "do not use," <laughs> and it it made it kick it out. Nice. Uh, it just didn't yeah. use it. So, so I am changing fields based on what we do here in Plumpton. So, okay, great job. Great job. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank Is you, this Tara. actually going to make less work for you? Because it sounds like it's a lot of work. It's a lot right now, and I'm still. It will be once. I get everything in. I, I have papers everywhere uh, of what I've already entered, what hasn't been entered, what I'm checking on. I still have everybody um, clipped together with all of their mandatory paperwork too, so I can't actually file them yet, but um, but I, I actually can set up our hard copy files and then keep pecking away at it and have goals for like entering all of one piece of mandatory paperwork and if they're all filed because I have hard copy files that have passed people and now I have an accurate current list so I can move the old files back so we can just if we knew we left off at D we can pull out the whole file um, so we're progressively make you know getting everything in there but it will it's amazing it'll, it'll get done but this is is to a place where we can use it to merge the records in Word without I can I can merge them for appointment slips and also the appointment cards so I'm trying to figure out I think I'll be able to combine an appointment slip and the card when they come it's not going to really be a card I don't think I can even just have it at the bottom right and have them come sign what you already signed one document yeah so I'm working on the design of that, but then we don't have the card files. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's getting right. there. Good. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Mm, back to cars. Back to cars. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a letter from Maureen Springer to friends, neighbors, and colleagues, essentially s saying that she can't accept the seat on the uh, Silver Lake uh, board. Um, the last paragraph says, I appreciate the trust and support I've been given in my efforts to strive for an educationally sound, adventurous, and exciting experience for the students of Plumpton, Halifax, and Kingston. It's a nice sentence. Very nice, um, yeah. Um, so we appreciate years and years, Absolutely. if not decades of service. Decades is correct, right. yeah. Um, 
And then a, a nice handwritten letter from um, uh, Dot Cushman, and with your permission, I think I should read this. Sure. Um, so, uh, dated June 1st to Plumpton Board of Selectmen, uh, it is with regret I'm resigning from the Plumpton Board of Council on Aging. Um, my eyesight requires uh, that I give up driving and it's difficult to attend meeting and events. I have been on the board for almost 30 years. Um, Sandy Henry and I worked together. I was coordinator, treasurer, uh, senior, I can't read the next word, um, and since 2002, I continued to work with Chris Moriano um, with the um, growing number of um, seniors in town, the need for a strong council on aging um, to help with needed services is very important. Uh, I hope we can find the needed volunteers. We are grateful for the increases the town has given us. Thank you so much for the opportunity to serve. Sincerely, uh, Dorothy Cushman. So very I nice. wonder if we shouldn't send a special letter just for decades of service. Yeah, uh, yeah. absolutely. Bree, would you like to Thank you. make up a letter? Do you want a letter or a certificate that I usually do? What do you think? A certificate or a well, letter we'll, we'll or both? We'll probably do a certificate for it next town meeting. Maybe just a letter now. Yeah. And just start a list for um, town meeting of people that we're going to recognize who have resigned during the year. That's like town history. Uh, Sandry, Henry, yeah, same Chris, thing. Right. Um, yeah, Maureen and, Maureen and Dot right. going out. <laughs> All right, um, Plumpton Halifax Express, it notes that we appointed our animal control officer. Um, it did have an article about the vacancies that we had requested. Um, Silver Lake had Mary Poppins, Silver Lake graduation, a lot of red in that. Interestingly enough, I had missed this when it first came out, but the Eugene Wright article was about Cato's Hill this week. Right. And in the first paragraph, he mentions that either that hill will be there forever or unless people start mining it for sand. So he was pressing it by 60 or 70 years. Wow. That, thank God we uh, were able to turn that into a park rather than a sand and gravel operation. Right. Yeah. Um, and with great pleasure, I can report that that completes correspondence. Great. Okay, so we're on to dates to remember. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I do have one thing that came in. Yeah. I'd like to send it out to them. And it is for the race that's always here, Harbor to the Bay benefit race. It takes place in September. They're very good. It's been coming through for years now. Um, two to three hundred cyclists. It's on September 15th. They'll be using part of the 58 and Mayflower Road and then they will turn on to Route 80. And this is the one that goes from Boston, the charity bike ride that goes from Boston to Provincetown. Okay. Do we have to run it by uh, Pat Dillon? I already have spoken to okay. him about it. He's I okay. Did you just sign this? Okay. Do we need a vote? Mm, have I we voted on this in the past? Use of public property. I think we have. Yeah. Okay. So we so just authorize them to use the, the, yeah. the roads. So I make a motion that we authorize the 16th annual Harbor to the Bay AIDS benefit bike ride on Saturday. September 15th to use the roads of Plimpton as outlined in the document. I'll take I it. will send that to All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank so, you. Yeah. This one is in that one too, which is our official due September, okay. even though they send it on. So uh, just a point of order, uh, we used to have our list of priorities that would go down at this part of the meeting. I, are, are we going oh, to not did. do that? Or actually during yeah. the summer, we might want a new list of priorities. We should reins reinstate that. that. Sure. Yes, please. Um, I, I, in that regard, I might just mention that the Public Safety Building Committee met last week and yeah. 
things are moving along pretty well. We had our pour, cement pour on Friday, and um, apparently that all went well. There were a couple of hiccups along the way about the level of the foundation and the level of the building, all taken care of without a problem. At the meeting, Dan Pilata, the um, uh, uh, owner's project manager, reminded all of us that there will be hiccups along the way. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a couple of these hiccups got a little bit inflamed and uh, maybe over concern along the way, but things have been taken care of and just the expectation there'll be little things along the way that will have to get fixed and um, as of this moment we're uh, almost on schedule moving ahead terrific good good um, with all the rain there was good drainage over there and uh, it's moving along great very exciting okay dates to remember we have a uh, board of selectmen open meeting at June 18th and June 25th we will have another meeting with Halifax, maybe the 25th or it may be 27th or yeah and we've got the 20th in there too don't we is that a fire yeah that yes meeting yeah. yes and then uh, yeah I'll this call week that. will actually be our next one the 13th because we're meeting then too lots of meetings <laughs> six, six. <laughs> you're meeting on the 12th and the 13th no the 13th just the 13th yeah yeah Lots to do. Yes. That's what we do. Important business. Minutes. Should we jump into those? Sure. Um, I had just one thing on the 14th in the um, first bullet. I, I think the word by near the end of the sentence needs to be changed to four. Mm hmm Yeah. That makes sense. I had um, eliminate on um, COA request to appoint Christine Uniaki as the old colony elder services director representative. She's just the representative, old colony elder services representative for Plimpton. She's Take not the director. director. Okay. Oh, okay. So delete director. Delete yep. director out okay. of both mm -hmm. spots under here and the vote because she's yeah. our rep, okay. not the director. Our okay. Um, well, I guess maybe I'm taking notes on this for Brie. Oh, okay. Or are you? Or I can. Okay. I've got, <laughs> got yours. You okay. got it. All right. Did you have anything else? I don't. I, don't I did either. not. The one thing, Brie, we, we should try to get these done by Thursday following the Monday. Because I read this and I had no recollection of some of it. There was just too much going on. That. Okay. All right, so do we want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of May 14th, 2018 as amended. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This is Christine's copy, right? Yes. Okay, so on the 21st, is that where we are now? Yep. All right, so on this, I took us out of executive session. So I opened session at six o'clock and this should go before the reorganization. Yeah. So um, at six o'clock, Selectman CJ called the open session to order. Then we reorganized. Yeah. Because yep. we didn't reorganize an executive session. Good. Okay, yeah. All right. Yep. And then on the second page, we made a motion to adjourn to executive session to discuss purpose one and two. That needed to be a roll call vote. I know we did a roll call vote, yeah. but that needs to be recorded. So it would okay. have been yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we do have the first and the second. Well, actually, motion. Mark Russo made the motion to adjourn to executive session. So one of us would have seconded the motion. And then we did a roll call vote. And then you called it back to open session. Yeah. So it, it was probably me. So I would have seconded the motion and then roll call vote. Um, we all just need to be recorded. Okay. okay, so that one goes down. So I make a motion to accept those as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mark made that motion? Yes. Yeah, Mark made the motion. I uh, did have one question. I couldn't remember the date on the, the the deadline to submit was May 24th, 2018 for the highway. 
Uh, no. Wasn't it later than that? Where, where are you talking about date? Town administrator. Town administrator. Deadline. Four applicants. May 21st. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, still back on the. Oh, you're still back on the 21st. Yeah, I um, just realized I had a question on that. Job like to May 25th, May 24th. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Okay. No, it's okay. supposed to be 625. Oh, no, no, no that's, that's your decision is 625. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Right. So I think that's okay. right. Okay. 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 Now we're on June 4th. All right. On this, I've got Stephen DeFreitas. Looks like his name is spelled wrong. We're missing an E, unless it's Sven. Is it Sven? Stephen or Sven? Right. Yeah, Stephen. Oh, you've got it. I, no, that's the other one. Should be Stephen? Okay. All right. And then on. Um, it's Stephen. Okay. So on appointments, Animal Control Officer, Inspector of Animals, Griffin Webb. We appointed Griffin as the animal control inspector until June 30th, I believe, of this year, because that's all we could do. Right. But the inspector of animals is until April. Like something. April. So there are two different dates. So we'll have to yeah, clarify the dates. It is. One is going to be April 30th. I have one. Okay, perfect. Do you want it specified? Yeah, yeah let's specify yeah. so yeah. it doesn't okay. get lost. And then um, under Linda Lawson, John Trainer made motion to approve the appointment of Linda Lawson as member of the Plimpton Public Library Board of Trustees. Mark or I seconded, and then we all voted on it. Oh, of course, mm -hmm. I didn't finish the sentence. That would be nice. Okay, all so right. we need a second and a vote. Okay, it's probably right here. Mm -hmm. You know, which actually brings up something that Bree brought up, and I think I mentioned before, but that we have to be careful on, is we tend to vote, 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 and go merrily onward, and she's still she's still back trying to a keep couple up. Of steps. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. You got to remember to take to a breath. And yeah, right. Vote. And then we voted, and you're <laughs> not even you there. Can you go get? And I'm like, <laughs> and then we keep going. <laughs> it's, it's just a test, Bree. <laughs> I know. Like so we'll try to remember, but also to slow you, down a little you bit. can like assert yeah. it yourself yeah. and say, "Hey guys, slow this down." This is six yeah. four. Yes, this Why is six four. Mark Russo did that. Okay, so Mark made the second, mm -hmm. and then we voted on it. Okay, under town administrator, you've got highway superintendent resumes will be it should not be have been it will be narrowed down yeah. to two finalists oh, you know. interviews will be scheduled and the BOS or the recommendations will come to the BOS by 625 isn't that how this is going mm -hmm. yep. yep okay and then we're gonna make a decision on 625 what you mailed it okay what do you mean you mailed that letter? To who? The people that didn't make the final list. They didn't? Mm -hmm. All right, I thought they, I thought they just interview, or have interviewed schedules tomorrow. I, Isn't that what Liz's report said? No, I think, she did, I think from what I heard from Liz today is that, in fact, some letters had gone out saying so thank they've you. already I screened. Mailed, they did the first screening. So the screening there committee did people. meet. I okay. mailed out letters. Okay. And it's down to two people. Okay. Okay, but at this point, it wasn't down to two people. June 4th, it wasn't down no. to two people. No. Because they hadn't had their first screening committee meeting yet. So I don't think so. Did they? I mailed out letters. That yeah, Monday. but. It, I mailed out letters that Monday. June 4th, that yeah. day, you mailed out letters. I mailed out letters. Okay, I, did didn't, I wasn't aware of that. that day? I don't know when they did their. Okay. I, I'm not on that committee or that meeting. Okay. Or if they met in the morning and then decided, I'm not sure. But Could be they did because she said they were having difficulty finding a time for them all to get together. Yeah. So yeah. it could be they did meet so that So I morning. was given these and on Monday I okay. mailed them up. Okay. That's why it said have been and it was two people and, and that was, Anything I don't else? know when two though. No, that's all I had was um, that I didn't think that we were that far ahead of it. But um, okay. Do you want me to reword it? No, I mean if that's if that's what happened. Well, it, 
but should, will be will have to be inserted there. Okay, so resumes will be narrowed down to two finalists. Interviews will be scheduled, and the BOS will um, make a decision by six twenty-five eighteen. So I just to bring attention, 625 is going to be quite a meeting because we have all those appointments. We're going to have these two interviews and yeah. this decision. Yeah. It would be really hard to meet with Halifax that night if that were what they came oh, up with. Oh, that would be yeah, tough. Yeah. Um, that would be really I mentioned hard. that to Liz today because the older I get, I can't have be jumping in. You know, all of them are going to be in depth. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. that, that's a big night. That big night. Yeah. A lot going on. Okay. So I'll give that. So I'll make a motion that we. Uh, one, one okay, other you got thing. something too? On where it says on the second page. Yeah, do it on that one. Okay. New server, one to three year master plan for Mike Mardigas. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Instead of R, it will, it's, will be. Okay. All right, so I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of June 4th as amended. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Bree. So now we're current with the minutes. Yep. Actually, Great. going back to that on 625, if I might, might we think about scheduling those interviews like for a well earlier, or even starting at 530, just so we're not going too deep in, into Ooh, the night? Oh, that's good. Yeah. That would be Liz suggested that too. Yeah. So I think we can keep that as an option. See yeah. where we end up. That sounds good. good. Yeah. Okay. And That's we're good. just going to have two finalists. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are. So we're down to rants and raves. I'm not really prepared for a rant and rave today, but I'm not either. Really, I need to. Good. There's, there's a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's That's take a hiatus for one week. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> so I make a motion that uh, we adjourn. All right. I'll second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.